Hello and welcome to part 6 of Sekiro, Shadows Try Everything, and in this part we are going to begin spending a little time learning about the Harata Estate. After slaying the puppy dogs. Evil puppies. And puppies will die to shuriken even when you have unupgraded attack power for a pretty long time and then they get a little more durable. Fast foe must meet fast weapon. Well, usually it's the fast foes die, uh, die to the heavier, slower weapons. Like um, if you hit, all, like if you hit a wolf with a maul in any uh, normal action RPGs, that usually just kills them in instantly. Yeah, but that's only because when you're swinging the maul, you do not take stagger. Giant koi fish. Treasure carp scale. There are some who exalt a certain master who consider these scales among the most precious things in the world. If you want to get all the trophies in this game. Skeletal toilet man! <laughs> toilet man! <laughs> I got something for you! Hang on! <laughs> okay, Eric! Hold out your hand. So we can purchase Divine Grass. It's pooping. Which does... Divine Grass is your... That's your full restore. Okay. So, I mean, I believe Pokemon usually starts dropping full restore around, like, the like the fifth dungeon? Or the, the fifth the fifth um, gym? Let me think. Full restore as a wild item I don't think actually happens until, at least in Generation 1, until uh, I, uh, uh, Victory Road. Well, I think, I think later generations might, you know, they might tease you with it. Say, like, well, I mean, you could go to the department store. You can stock up on this shit if you really want to. Um, and we are going to tell you how awesome it is that you get to buy it at the Elite Four vendor. Yeah, but that would put it at the Celadon, which is the fourth gym. Yes, which is right around the time in this game, canonically, when you would start finding more Divine Grass. And Divine Grass okay. is very precious as well. What are the other items that we saw? Like the Withering Red Gourd and the Mass Fragment. The Withering Red Gourd is a number of... One of a variety of gourds that heals the respective um, status ailments that you can encounter in this game. There is also Poison and Terror. If you get poisoned, you also take damage over time. If you, if you become terrified, you die. Really? Yes. Uh, well, I mean, th that's the Dark Souls curse mechanic. Curse will kill okay. you if your curse meter fills up all the way. Um, and there are some enemies that can inflict curse on you very quickly. Uh, case in point, this game with the terror system. Um, and each of the gourds, uh, will cure each of the five varieties and give you brief resistance, um, for a little while. It's an alter- it's a reusable alternative to using the consumable items because there are also consumable counterparts to each of the items that can heal each of the respective status ailments. Right, so is withering a burn or what? The, the red, it depends on the color. So red is for burn, green okay. is for poison, and purple is for... Uh, let's not talk about purple. <laughs> <laughs> I take this so I could use the bathroom at night. Uh, I take this for my high blood pressure. Another warp point. I do like how close these warp points are to each other, but they, but a lot of them feel a bit too close. They. It depends on. Oh, okay, so if you go into this knowing like, I got this. All you got to do is just run to the checkpoints and kill all the bosses in between. Then yeah, you will probably blow through this game pretty goddamn fast because sec because Wolf is a fast character. Um, However, um, if your intent is to gain experience, explore the map, then maybe you will, you know, die, for instance, on your way to a Sculptor's Idol instead of actually getting there. So wait for him to turn around. And... But does and, he, I can't remember if these guys... And... These guys are drunk. Okay, okay so, go! Okay, he's... Now. He needs... He obviously needs another round. Oh, uh, 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 oh, oh, okay. Okay, so the yellow arrow did not completely fill with red, so I did not aggro him. Because I didn't aggro him, I didn't aggro the guy next to him. 
So from here what we want to do is go up onto the roof. And make sure that there are no overseeing archers. There don't appear to be any archers over here. You're not looking up at the top of the roof to make sure? No, that's that's the previous sculptor's idol, Wolf. We're 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 learning. Mm, ammo restore that went into our bank. Ah, uh, Buddha's storage space is vast indeed, vast like his great belly. Another oh. ungo sugar. Ungo sugar. I should point out and that that's a uh, defense plus steroid. That's right? defense plus, yes. And I was just going to say that vendors will sell Ungo Sugar at different prices depending on who you talk to. Mm. Ooh, is there, is there an actual uh, fac uh, faction system that you can grind in this game? No, nah, it's, like, it's more like an arbitrary set of decisions designed to motivate the player to check as many different vendors as possible. <laughs> Alright, so Akko Sugar, which is a red life sa life lifesaver, it gives us a bonus attack power. All right. Yes, and you want to use Akko Sugar in order to damage enemy vitality. You will find that certain strong enemies in this game, uh, you want to whittle down their vitality before you ultimately start to use their rather easy attack patterns against them via the deflection system. Okay. Now we're trying to score a stealth kill on one of these guys before fighting the other two. So how do we go about doing this? Well, it appears that the guy on the left is mostly concentrated on what's going on over there. And I see that Hammer Brother is definitely looking at his buddy. It's when they're looking at each other that stealth becomes nigh on impossible. Well, you could also count on that. It takes it takes a second. It takes the enemy a second to actually look at you. Right. So, are we just going to stealth past them? Well, we are. Uh, I'm a little low on health, is the thing, and I only have two healing gourds. So, I would rather not get hit because that would cause me to just go back to the sculptor's idol repeatedly. And also, this game just wants to remind you that uh, it hides things everywhere. And you should try um, looking for there's him. There's a beastie in there. I can hear the pitter patter. The doggy I, I can't hear the pitter patter, but I saw the goddamn tail. God so. damn it! He's looking in this direction. Fuck! Shit! God damn it! Son of a really? Bitch. They won't. They won't let you uh, climb that easily. The hell? I'm Why not? I'm try It definitely looks like a thing. It, I think the problem is it's not a proper ledge. I have to, you have to land squarely on the hay in order to in order to access the platform. Okay, now wall jump. Very good. There you go. I don't understand why they wouldn't let you climb it though. Well, that there, that there, was there, that was climbing it. I j it just took me a second. <laughs> but no, there's de there's definitely a definitive wooden wooden edge that the hay is leaning over. Why can't we grab onto that and climb up? Well, because the game says no. That's why. <sighs> Lying personages. All right. Um, Below me. Well, you took down the guard, but you really probably should have tried to stealth kill the hammer bro instead. Okay, run away. I don't. All right. I guess I'm giving it a shot. Oh. You guys have really lousy posture health. Good day, sir. Uh-oh. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Stab, 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 stab. Become stabbed. Yes. Deplete their posture. Get used to watching not a red health bar go down, but a yellow bar going up instead. Dark Souls players, take note. Damn it. Pellet. Yeah. And swish. Game goes from zero to asking awesome in no time. I mean, kinda. This is a uh, part six, and this is our first, uh, our first real uh, excursion into dungeon. If you refer to that. It, it is. It is basically a dungeon. There, there are also 
this is one of a series of um, <clears throat> Lord Souls that we will have to go after in this game. Yes, yes, yes. I know how to use quick items. God damn it. Um, I was trying to say that just like the Lord Souls and Dark Souls that you will be sent on these uh, one-way pathways. You eventually come to the boss arena that gives you the thing so, and you have to do it a number of times in order to get all the items you need in order to make it to Anor Londo. I don't want to go to Anor Londo. This, this, uh, this level is dark enough as is. <laughs> Wait a minute, my amnesia. I've been here before. No, Mr. Cloud, you're gonna have to use your grapple in order to get up top on there. Although, I'm not entirely sure if there's a reason to get up on top of there right now. Well, there is. Yep. Yeah, you you saw you saw the pathway. It goes it goes to the right and then takes a turn. Ah. Uh forecasting is that why because the ledge painter wasn't there in, in order to uh, paint the the edge of the houses with white with uh, white edge paint dun, 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 dun. uh oh bumpers everywhere everywhere you go and everywhere you've been you will find a pupper waiting to stab you and everywhere you climb and everywhere you die enemies will be ready to turn around i could death blow that guy and I'll be killing all night. Lots of neck stabs. Yes, many neck stabs. Death blow animations. They, they, they. I mean, be, I would say that vi visceral attacks got old a lot more quickly in Bloodborne because it literally was the same animation all the time. However, I, finding it difficult to get past how awesome death blows are in this game because they do have a number of different different animations. The backstab animation is very good. That's basically your ba that's your next stab right there. Uh, there's also grab the dude from above with your legs and then stab him with your arm style, which is fucking amazing. And there is also, uh, one of my favorites is strong enemies that cannot be taken down by your lightweight sass. You drop in from below, while they're still standing up, you use the momentum to prop them upright and then stab them through the heart from behind. So what are we, how are we gonna deal with the, uh, the edgy archer uh, on the roof? We're not, we're gonna run away. <laughs> Oh, dude. <laughs> I'm lost. I'm lost. I don't know where I am. But did you remember the homeward idol in your pocket, young wolf? The homeward idol that you've kept in your pocket since you were a boy. Yes, he saw you. It doesn't matter that you're behind two different fucking walls. He still saw you. Archers are some of the weakest enemies on the board. Their main strength is their awkward positioning to make it difficult to just power the fucking crap at him. But he kicks dirt into our face, and that causes it temporary blindness. Ooh, another oil. So are you going to actually use the explosive oil on these enemies? No, neither do I use a uh, fistful of ash, any of the Mib any of the Mibu spirit balloons, uh, ceramic shards. Pretty much any item that is not a healing gourd or a ceremonial tanto, which I haven't gotten yet, that increase that temporarily increases the number of spirit emblems you can use until they are used up. Oh, so it can actually get you up to twenty shots with the, with your shuriken? Yes, precisely. But it costs half of your health in order to use. Ow! I mean, it's effectively the same system that we had in Bloodborne, but still, man. Stealthy savvy. Drunk. All right, now there's only two dudes left, so this should be so simple. Yep, remember, power through these guys. Use your posture death blows. Especially this douchebag right here, because he does not stagger when he gets attacked all the time. That is because he has a maul. Maul enemies are not supposed to be easily staggered. Heal, heal, heal. Man, fuck you, dude. 
All right, now all I gotta do is get first strike on this guy. Oh, you think you're a tough guy? Oh, oh god, oh god, dirty play, dirty play. Run away. Run away. Why are we going all the way back out? I am hunting for fish. Obviously, I have failed. Let's use the homeward idol finally. I give up. This game has fucked me once again. Damn it. Into the next part. <sighs> nice deep breath.